In this, we are going to see some useful features of tactical RMM from login to how to use those features. Tactical RMM by default have two-factor authentication to login you need any authenticator app. For now, we are using Google Authenticator to login. Now what you see is user interface of Tactical RMM. After doing things in RMM, we will see the client system for better and there we will add clients, and we will see how to manage those clients. So, now, let's add new client. For this first, need to install agent software on target system. For this, go to file, click on add, then click on client now, write your client name in sight. What should be the client name? This can be your choice of understanding. Now, in newly created client, there is no machine we can see. So, we will add machine. For this, go to Agents, click on Install Agents. Here we have to put details of agent software for which client and options like server or workstation. Here we can see three ways to install. We will go with Manual, then click on Show Manual Installation. Later, we will see other two ways to install. Now copy this script and download this agent software. After downloading agent software, copy it to Target System and open and open command prompt as administrator and open directory where you copy agent file and use that script which you copied. It takes some time install once it done check client in RMM. Now we can see new client here. Now we can see hardware and installed software details in newly added client in RMM. We will run some script to see how it's working in output after execution. Here we are creating user test. Let's create directory name test. It's look like test already exists there. So let's change the name and try again. Now we will check our target system to verify that user tests created or not. We added new client, followed same step that we seen at starting a video, so skip that part. So let's log in into that system and verify the details that we've seen in RMM like LANIP and hosting.
as if now we can see that no major software installed. Let's install some software from RMM to target system and verify, and you can track your progress too. That is it completed or not. For that right click on client system and open pending action. Meanwhile installation is in progress, let's send command to do the task then we will verify those. Let's check installation progress. Open pending action. It's showing progress has completed. We installed 7-zip now check it's available or not. Yes, it's available and work. We create a directory in desktop named test00. Here we can see this one too, exist in desktop. Let's install something else too then, we will see how to remove those as well. Here we can see that Chrome is not available. So we will install Google Chrome in system using RMM. Follow the same step to do that. Select client system. Open software, click on plus sign then search or look for Google Chrome. On side of it we can see plus sign click on it, then click on install. After that check installation status. Open pending action. Once it done, let's check on our target system. So now you can see Google Chrome install that wasn't available at first in system. Now we have seen that how to install software from RMM. Let's see how to remove it using RMM. Come back RMM UI, right click on client, select run script. Select script to list install packages. Here we can see 7-zip and Google Chrome packages. To uninstall packages, choose another script name uninstall. Then write package name which like to uninstall in script argument section. Write package name in way that's shown in video, then click on Run. Once installation completed, you will get the message that says successfully uninstall. Let's list package once again to check Chrome status. Here it's not showing. OK, we will verify on system 2. as we can see no Google Chrome package isn't available in system. Easy and convenient to do this kind of task with help of RMM. And no directory also in desktop so easy to manage file and directory. So without disturbing user we can perform this kind of daily task, which are required in organization.